Hi guys, I'm Pat from South Island Tiny House and today I'm going to give you an update on our solar for our new house. If you haven't seen our other solar videos, go check them out. Um, there's one about the tiny house and there's also one about the new house. So uh, before we get into it, please subscribe and like this video and let's go. So today is a beautiful day. It's really sunny. Um, and currently we're running the air conditioning where we've run a load through the dryer. We are running also the dehydrator and, we, and we've also done two loads of laundry. That's all off solar today. So that's pretty cool. So the AC unit I installed myself um, and it, they call it a cassette unit and it sits flush on the ceiling versus having a big bulky thing on the wall. Um, and I mean, it obviously uses, you know, the same amount as uh, any other heat pump uh, as far as energy. But um, yeah, we're running it and it's running off the solar. So that's definitely cool. And also, I really like the Wi-Fi feature that these uh, Mitsubishi models offer. Um, you can turn it on from town if you're in town to heat your house or if you've been away for a week and it's been cold, you can, you know, turn it on a uh, half hour before you come home or you can just use it on your phone. That's what we do. We don't even use the controllers on the walls. So yeah. So the reason it's so dark in here at the moment um, is because we have all the blind shut to try to keep it um, a little cool in here and try to let the heat pump um, relax a little bit. Um, so I'll show you the inverter. So today we've brought in almost 10 kilowatt hours um, and the sun is getting further and flatter. So that means at night or at evening time, we'll bring, start bringing in a little more solar than in the mornings because the sun is kind of hidden behind the bush in the mornings. So right now we're, you know, doing pretty well. We're bringing in about 2000 watts of solar power. That's about half of our um, capacity on our solar. Um, battery's good um, and yeah, we're, pretty much good to go. So another thing to note is I have cleaned the panels once this year. Um, it's been really dry and the panels accumulate a lot of pollen and a lot of dust and also we're so close to the ocean um, the salt accumulates on it from the mist. Um, so I've cleaned them that really helped with the efficiency and we also have a cool app we can go on to for our uh, Solex power and we can monitor pretty much everything from you know, a day to day or a year to year or a month to month of, you know, comparisons. So it's really cool. So the other thing is that's really awesome is we've had zero electric bill for five months now. Basically, we've also accumulated a hundred dollars in credit. So maybe in the winter time, if it's cloudy for, you know, weeks on end, um, we might have to start using that credit, um, but we'll see how it goes and we'll definitely keep you updated. So make sure you guys check out our other video if you haven't seen it uh, about the solar. Um, and there's also, I think there's another video about um, how we set it up and we also paid $17,000 for our system. Um, but it's been going pretty good so far and uh, we really like it. So just to recap, zero electric bill for five months, $100 credit, and we love it. Thanks again for watching, like, subscribe, and catch you next time.